let us bow our heads in prayer. God, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for another time, another opportunity to gather in your house of worship yes. as sons and daughters of God by faith. Jesus. We thank you for your keeping power through a year of uncertainty in this season of pandemic. Yes. So we thank you right now for the safety measures that are being followed that allow us to come into your presence once again. We thank you for those who are with us live in person. We pray right now for those who are with us through your viewing services. We thank you for the Church of the Open Door. We thank you for her pastor in the person of Reverend Dr. Mark V.C. Taylor. We thank you, Father God, for the leaders. We thank you, Father God, for the members. We thank you, Father God, for the singing aggregation. In this, your servant just thanks you for another opportunity to preach what you have given me in this season. So please take me down into your storehouse. Yeah. Cover me, anoint me, and allow the people to hear and see you yeah. and not to pay attention to me. I love you, I thank you, thank and I will continue to give you all of the glory and all of the honor. Yeah. It is in the matchless and mighty name of your son, Jesus the Christ, and all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. March is Women's History Month. Oh, yes. This is a celebration of women's contributions to history, culture, and society. It has been annually observed in the United States for over four decades. Throughout history, women have driven humanity forward on a path to a more equal and just society contributing in innumerable ways to our character and progress as a people, said former President Barack Obama in his 2016 Women's History Month presidential proclamation. In the face of discrimination and undue hardship, they have never given up on the promise of America that with hard work and determination, yeah. nothing is out of reach. During Women's History Month, we remember the trailblazers of the past, including women who are not recorded in our history books. And we honor their legacies by carrying forward the valuable lessons learned from the powerful examples they set. Because of the courage of so many bold women who dared to transcend preconceived expectations and prove they were capable of doing all that a man could do and more. Advances were made, discoveries were revealed, barriers were broken, and progress triumphed. You see, whether in elected positions across America, leading groundbreaking civil rights movements, venturing into unknown frontiers, or programming revolutionary technologies, generations of women that knew their gender was an obstacle to what they could accomplish had long stirred new ideas and opened new doors having a profound impact on our nation. Thank you again, Pastor Taylor, for the invitation to share with the Church of the Open Door Amen. for Women's History Month 2021. Yes. Again, I thank God for another time and opportunity to gather with fellow believers to worship our Lord yes. in spirit and in truth. Uh -huh. But... If I had one thing to alter in President Obama's statement that I borrowed, it would be that with hard work, determination, and God, oh. nothing is out of reach. Amen, somebody. Amen. I am excited to honor one of God's own who has also been a trailblazer in for this woman and this preacher of the gospel. So you see, there was also a prophet, Anna, 
the daughter of Fanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to age 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. Yeah. Reading Luke chapter 2, verses 36 through 38, from and with black South African women from Manquang, was a window into a discussion of oppressed and marginalized women in the South African landscape. But more importantly, it brought to my attention the plight of the black woman yeah. and all women of color here in this country. Yes, mothers are many of the providers in the home. Yes, mothers are those in eviction court at a rapidly high rate. Women are those you witness in visiting rooms inside of jails and prisons. Yes, women are those you most often see at back-to-school nights and parent-teacher conferences. Black women and women of color are those you see in courtrooms supporting the defendants on trial. Yes, black women and women of color are the ones you see on television talking about the murder or assault of their loved ones. Yes, black women and women of color have endured and continue to endure. Even when it seems that all hope is lost, I am here to remind someone of the truth as I preach from the subject. God can and God does. You see, Anna is evidence of God using someone quiet and unknown to many. Someone seasoned in years of living. Someone who remained faithful to worship in him. Yet, even in this, it is viewed by some as being leveled in complete patriarchy. But in spite of this interpretation, Anna is a powerful example for black women and women of color who still face oppression, discrimination, and marginalization, whether in society or on the job, whether in their marriages or at home or in religious houses of worship or in school or wherever it is they may go. You see, I am here to remind someone that God sees the beauty and good in all creation. Yes, despite what many may say, despite what the world may say, we are all useful in service to God, no matter your circumstances, no matter your gender, no matter your race, no matter your class, no matter what, I'm here to tell someone God does not categorize God's children. Jehovah does what Jehovah pleases as Jehovah pleases. The Almighty is God and God alone. God can and God does. about Anna. Luke provides a complete sketch of her character. You see, Anna is a widow and she knows sorrow, yet remains faithful to God, not angry or bitter because she suffered such loss. You see, there are many black women and women of color who have known sorrow from those with enslaved 
slavery who watch their husbands get beat, attacked, and sometimes sold off or even killed. The same for some of their children as families were ripped apart and never to be heard of again. To those during the days of Jim Crowism who saw loved ones go missing only to be found hanging from a tree, burned on a KKK cross, or even dumped in a river with a fan tied to the body to keep it anchored down. To those during the crack epidemic who saw countless lives of color snuffed out by drugs, murder, and incarceration. To right now in 2021, where the senseless and unwarranted assault on the black male race and many men and women of color continues to prevail. I am here to tell someone today, God can and God does. Yes, Anna is old in her years, yet throughout all she has endured, her faith remained in God. She was old, yet she had never ceased to hope. How many of us believe that we will be blessed to have the same testimony as Anna? You see, too many of us give up on God. Yet, in spite of our doing so, our wonderful counselor, hallelujah, does not give up on us. Someone needs to know today, age can take away the bloom and strength of our body. But guess what? Age can do even worse. Yes, the years can take away the life of our hearts. So much so that the hopes we once cherished die. And we become stupidly complacent and grimly resigned to things as they are. But this should not be the case for the believer. Again, it all depends on how we think of God. If we think of the Creator as distant and detached, then guess what? We might as well go ahead up in here and despair. But if we think of our Creator as immediately connected with life, as having His hand on the steering wheel, then we ought to be assured that the best is yet to be. And the years will never kill our hope, and they will never kill our faith. Can I get a witness up in here today? Just think of Anna and how for at least 60 years or more, she was able to share her faith with so many people. You see, God's timing is true. you are 
being disobedient? My brothers and my sisters, the blessings of being obedient far outweigh the blessings of trying to stay safe. How many of us believe this truth? How can we be hit or miss with the Almighty, sometimes being obedient and at other times doing our own thing and then have the nerve to complain? My brothers and my sisters, we are the church. We are the body of Christ. We are God's worshipers. When the church lacks, the world lacks. It really isn't that hard to understand. Finally, church of the open door. Anna was a prayer warrior. She did not cease in her prayer. Now, this is important for our private lives with God, which many of us lack. And I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes. Trust and believe the sermons I preach, I preach to myself first. And if you can chew on it, chew on, chew on, and chew on. So again, public worship is great, but private worship is even better. As someone has said, they who first, they who pray best together, I'm sorry, first pray best alone. Amen, somebody. The years had left Anna without bitterness and in unshakable hope because day by day she kept her contact with the one who is the source of our strength and in whose strength our weakness, hallelujah, is made perfect. You see, Anna's testimony of prayer demonstrates that she listened to Jehovah for direction. Yes, prayer is our ability to talk to God, to let God know all about our struggles, our burdens, and even our joys. Yes, Anna did not allow others to tell her who she was in Christ. Anna listened to I am through prayer, and God told her who she was direction God wanted to send her. Amen somebody. A God who can and a God who does. Alright. Mm. Why have I stopped by here today to talk about Anna, an unknown yet powerful witness for those of us in Christendom. From three verses Luke has provided an example of a strong and mighty woman of God who can serve as a witness to black women and women of color alive and in the world today. Even when coming from much of nothing, God can and God does use you to Jehovah's glory and honor. Again, Anna's loyalty, devoutness, her obedience and belief is underlined by preferences to her old age, her faithful widowhood, and her regular ministry in the temple. You see, Anna is full of thanksgiving at the arrival of the child who will complete God's promise. And she's speaking about the child to all to the redemption of Jerusalem. You see, Anna's teaching would have been heard by every single person who frequented the temple. Her hope, like Simeon's hope, looked to the completion of what God is starting. A God who can and a God who does. What are you saying, preacher? remind somebody today Anna is demonstrating strength. Despite her husband's death, she exemplified that even in the worst of circumstances God is with us. She is teaching us that we can be used by God no matter who we are, what situation we are in, whether you're married or you're single, whether you're rich 
for wrapping your poor. You see, Anna was a woman with a purpose. She chose to share her faith with as many people as she could. She chose to serve the Lord. And Anna chose to fast and pray, worshiping the Lord day and night. Understanding her purpose, she chose to tell the news of the Savior that was coming. No matter how long it might be before he came. You see, Anna knew her purpose and she didn't let anyone's opinions or comments keep her from it. Yeah. Anna's choice would not only affect her life in an abundant way, but also the lives of others ever since. Even those of us alive and under my voice in 2021. Church of the Open Door. Uh -huh, yeah. I'm here to tell somebody God is not just interested in saving man. Uh -huh. Jehovah Jireh is not just interested in saving woman. Yeah. Jehovah Shalom does not just use men and service as his witness in scripture. Jehovah Elohim does not just use women to serve as his witnesses in scripture. But God can and God does use all of God's creation in the building up of his kingdom here on earth. So for those black women and women of color who feel they are worthless, for those black women and women of color who have suffered unceasingly, for those black women and women of color who are walking around here aimlessly, for those black women and women of color who are no longer with hope, need you to know and I need you to believe that God can yeah. and God does. Yes, God can use you for service. God does need you yeah. for service. God can heal you. God does heal those of you who are suffering. Yeah. God can make your crooked path straight. Yeah. God can make a way out of no way. God can be your shelter in the time of storm. world 
Jesus. All right. So I'm just here to let somebody know. Yes. If we keep the faith, worship, and pray, yes. just remember God can and God does because God never fails.
are still seeking and searching, we invite you to come and be one with the church of the open door. Come and find.